Chiquinha. Chiquinha. Go check out the room. Chiquinha. Okay, I'm the content creator for this channel. If you like what I'm doing, just subscribe and then also hit the, um, that little bell. That means you're gonna get notified of other videos that I do. So today we got something out of uh, Cape Verde. So this is gonna be a pretty good one, I think. And you can already tell from the scenery, it's already uh, looks, looks uh, pretty interesting already, the beauty of Cape Verde. So this is uh, the first one that I've done. By the way, I'm in Macau, so I'm living in um, kind of something that's also influenced by uh, the Portuguese speaking world. So let's see, let's get started. And um, this one is called uh, Lura um, Narina. Lura Narina. Narina. Um, I'm going to be reacting to it. So that means that I might be stopping and pausing. And um, if you want to go to the original and just hear everything, just go, um, just go to the link below. I'm going to be supporting it through the link. Okay, here we go. Let's get going. It's already pretty beautiful. I've seen lots of pictures of Cape Verde and it looks like a really beautiful place and it looks like they got kind of an accordion going on, which is um, something I associate with uh, old world Portugal and Europe, uh, more so with um, other parts of Europe, but I know it's in Portugal as well. So let's keep going. Yeah, actually, Cape Verdean music is so beautiful, and it's also you can see um, kind of similar sounds with other places of the Portuguese speaking world, like in Brazil, like that kind of like almost kind of sounds like something you'd hear at maybe Carnival a little bit, you know, and especially even the accordion too, like that kind of noise, uh, not noise, but that music like that is um, something you'd also hear like in the Nordeste of uh, Brazil. Okay, let's keep going. Correct me wrong if I if I said that was an accordion. It's not. Just let me know because um, sometimes I make mistakes. I don't always know. There's a lot of instruments that sometimes sound like an instrument that I'm familiar with, and maybe it's a different instrument altogether. You know, because I'm not from Cape Verde and I'm not from a Portuguese-speaking country, although I have visited a number of them. So here we go. I haven't been to Cape Verde, but I've been to Brazil, Mozambique, Portugal, living in Macau. And uh, yeah, this kind of reminds me a lot of Brazil. Like just, And I've heard that a lot with Cape Verde. It has a, like, a really strong connection to Brazil. I, I don't know, maybe it's just some Cape Verdeans that are online or, or um, watching my video. Maybe they're from Massachusetts or Cape Verde itself, or Rhode Island, or wherever they're at. There's a, the diaspora is larger, as far as I know, than, than, than inside the Cape Verde itself. Um, correct me if I'm wrong about that too. Um, get some discussion going. If you like this video, like it, um, share it with other people as well. Um, but yeah, actually it's really beautiful like that, like the, the mountains and um, I've seen a lot of pictures of Cape Verde and I've always been really intrigued to go there. Actually, the beach culture too. Like in, uh, I was in Brazil for six months, so there's a strong beach culture in Cape Verde. It looks like it has a lot of it too. I know a lot of tourists come down from uh, Europe, Portugal, Germany. Even the flow of dancing kind of reminds me a little bit of Brazil because it's like, you know, they have that rhythm, strong rhythm.
yeah, the language, the Portuguese language in general is so beautiful. So it's, um, and I, I've heard different elements of it. Brazil has like a really beautiful, like, I don't know, sadaji, like this kind of like the way that some of the sounds sound are really beautiful. I can hear it in um, Cape Verdean music too. Also, um, how popular is Lura? Because it looks like she's pretty popular in Cape Verde. I'm just kind of wondering to what degree is that like kind of like the biggest person in Cape Verde? Um, if it's not, like who are people listening to? Like who's the biggest stars right now? I'm, I'm sure she must be one of them, right? And yeah, let's get a little bit of discussion going, a little bit of feedback, and kind of curious what you guys might say about it as well. Yeah, actually, how big is the beach culture? I know there's a lot of tourists that go down to Cape Verde from Europe, and um, and I know that they like it, um, you know, of course, because it's warmer and from Europe. And I'm um, just kind of curious, like, how how big it really is, and, um, you know, is this, like, kind of reflection of, like, daily life in Cape Verde? Um, or is it something that's more, like, played more when they're playing a music video, you know, kind of thing? <laughs> curious what the song is about um, my Portuguese I know some Portuguese but not enough to really know um, Narina. beautiful song so yeah if you want to hear the whole song without me stopping just go to the link below and I'm gonna be supporting the music and supporting these artists you know and I'm um, sharing them on my YouTube and you can see my reaction to them so um, yeah, pretty cool video and a pretty amazing interesting little place of the of the world um, Cape Verde so okay I hope you enjoyed me doing a reaction to it if you want to hear me do some more reaction videos to Cape Verde give me some suggestions um, all right so thank you um, YouTube world Chiquinha Chiquinha